In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a final report inside the GA4. So let's jump in. I will be showing you this demo based on a Google Merchandise Store data. Inside GA4 account, you can see that if I click on the reports and then monetization, and uh, here I can select user purchase journey. It is a new report that has been added just recently and it is showing final steps uh, with drop-offs based on your data. Uh, by default, it is showing five steps. This session start, product view, add to cart, begin checkout and purchase. Below you can see its table with the same data, but here you can uh, change the dimensions and you can switch from the device category to country or for instance language or browser and so on. Uh, if I click uh, view final steps it is showing the logic how uh, the final is configured. Here we cannot modify anything unfortunately but I will show you how to modify this report. Uh, also I can click on uh, date range and uh, I enable toggle for comparison and click apply and this chart will change and you will see a dotted line uh, with comparison of the previous period and table showing the percent changes versus previous period. Besides that we can uh, filter our report here also apply different segments. But uh, let me show you how to create your own custom funnel chart with your own steps. If I click on explore, I can select funnel exploration and here you can configure your, your own uh, funnel uh, report and uh, adjust all, all the steps. But in this case it will take some time and I will show you a quicker, quicker option how to do it. If I click back uh, the reports and find and go under monetization user purchase journey and if I click uh, edit comparison Below you can see explore button. This replicates the default final chart and right now we can just modify some steps and it will be way faster. Uh, if I click here I can uh, delete some steps if I click on three dots and select remove step. Also I can add a new step. Uh, if I click on the three dots as well and I can select copy step. Uh, then uh, here I can uh, search for another event that I want to track. For instance, uh, it will be at add payment info. I can rename this step to make it clear. Then I click apply. Now you can see that we created our own custom funnel report. I hope this video was useful. If you want to know how to build a modern e-commerce data infrastructure for your brand, then check the links in the description below. And subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about e-commerce analytics.